Welcome back guys, this is Srikan. Today we are going to talk about regular expression regular expression in SQL Server. So first of all, what is regular expression? Regular expression is a kind of expression which is being used to uh, search a specific pattern in a string. This regular expression is useful when we work on a programming uh, language like uh, C Sharp, Java, C in every language, you know, every language when we want to manipulate a string, we do uh, we do use we do have used uh, regular expression, right? So people are more familiar with the regular expression. For example, let's say I do say I want to verify the email pattern. Okay, you want to find out the email pattern? Okay, let's go for the regular expression. Let's say my requirement I want to find out the URL proper URL URL format. Is it valid or not? Okay, let's go for the regular expression. That's fine. You you can get it over the internet. You can go with regular expression. Likewise. You can you can define your predefined format and you can validate your string with that format. If it is valid, then you will get the result as a true. If it is not valid, you will get the result as a false. Okay. So to understand the regular expression, you should have the basic knowledge of regular expression, how to write the regular expression, how to read the regular expression, how to understand them. But as a SQL Server developer or the SQL developer, I'm going to show you. Uh, the basic thing which are required for the regular expression to be used in a SQL Server. To understand the regular expression, I'm going to define a variable called as at the rate i and the defining the data type as a var care of 500. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do? I'm going to write a condition in a such a way that the past string does it have a as a starting character. I want to verify with a with a, with, a, with a regular expression. How do I do that? So the value which I want to verify is Amazon and uh, I want to validate this. So for you uh, want to validate means what? Want to validate means you should have the condition in where? In if. So my condition is at the rate i like. So this is the way we can uh, compare the string is basically uh, valid or not but you know but I want to validate the validate my string with a like operator so how do I do that with a regular expression so my requirement is that the first character which I'm going to place in a square bracket let's say a it should always start with a and it could have in anything if the, this is my pattern let's do that now this is a simple regular expression this regular expression says that the starting character should be a and the remaining should be anything we don't care about that okay if this is true i would say print select true and if this is a false else if this is a false then i should get result as a false right let's try to understand so I have written a regular expression in a in a SQL server which is saying me that the first character should always be at should always be a okay and my string is Amazon. Let's see what would I get. The result I would get as a true. Oh fine, I got a two, right? Now I want to validate. I want to do what now? I instead of a I'm going to add a b here. Now I'm going to run the same script. Now let's see what will happen. I will get as a false. Why I got a false? Because my initial or uh, the first character is not A. Okay, fine. Now let's rerun this script once again and see what will we get. We will get true because the starting character is A. Now my requirement is I want to verify or validate my first character not be A. It should not be A. Now select the same script, run the script and read and let's see now we got the false why false because the value which we are passing is a amazon now i'm going to change the first character from a to b so let's see now i got a true it means this is the regular expression which is validated now let's see i want to do some magic like one zero to zero zero to nine so these are digits Right, my requirement is that the starting digit should be 0 to 9. The first character of my string should be 0 to 9. Now, let's do that. Let's execute the script and let's see. 
we will get a false right we got a false because my initial character is not 0 to 1 now i'm going to change to 1 now i'm going to execute it see i'm trying to make it uh, more complicated now i got true so my requirement is that uh, the first character should be 0 to b and the ending should be like uh, the ending character always be uh, that right now let's do that dollar so my requirement is that the first character the first character should always be 0 to 9 any number and the end character because you know I uh, the ampersand is above is before the dollar so my last character should be dollar so if I come here and if I change to dollar what will I get I will I get true or will I get false let's let's do that oh I got true it means that this is the kind of a string and this is the kind of a regular expression I am finding at the pattern in my string now I am trying to make it more complicated see my first character should be 0 to 9 then second character or I want basically I want to allow now 0 to 9 or a to a to z anything now I am just removing the one and now executing the my code. Now let's see what will I get. Will I get true or false? Oh, I got true. Why? I allowed 0 to 9 and a to z in my first place. Okay. Now I want to restrict here the number. Let's say uh, I want. I, I don't want to allow any kind of hash symbol here. So I'll simply place not, not hash. Or not dollar or you can play simply say not hash so let's try to understand let's try to understand what I have written here though my first character should be 0 to 9 okay that's fine from A to Z that's fine but it should not be hash right okay the same script which I executed and I got result as a true I just change my regular expression and I'm running the script now let's see what we'll get we will get true because the first character should not be hash now what i'm going to do i'm going to change i'm going to add my first character as hash i'm going to execute the script let's see see i got a true this is specific basically to tell you that this kind this kind of a string is called as the regular expression now it's a purely regular expression we started with a simple a single a single character now see this is so complicated but trust me this is the one which you have created this is the magic you have created this is not created automatically this is you have written you have understood so working with the regular expression the regular expression which works in java c sharp or any javascript any or any react or any language it works the same java same regular expression can be used to validate the string in a sql server so it could be useful for validating the email pattern It could be used to validate the website pack website URL right all those things we can do that so hope you guys understood the video related with the regular expression how to deal with the regular expression in SQL server how to validate the data and all those things hope you guys enjoyed if you guys really like our video please don't forget to share and subscribe with your friend if you really like please don't forget to comment over the comment section and thanks for watching